All right, thank you so much, DigiKey. This week's INMPI is Microchip Lady Ada. What is INMPI this week? Okay, this week's INMPI is from Microchip. Weirdly, coincidentally, I actually, um, this showed up on the you know, digikey.com slash new featured product list. And I had a breakout board designed for this. So now that it's back in stock, I was like, oh, I can talk about this chip. And also I know a lot about it because I already wrote a library and code for it. So this week we're talking about the microchip MCP 3421. It is an ADC, a single channel differential ADC with up to 18 bits of resolution, which is a lot of bits. Um, you know, most ADCs that people have on microcontrollers are like 8 bit, 10 bit, 12, maybe 14 if you're lucky. So 18 is, is quite a lot. 18 basically means you can start doing um, very small measurements on the microvolt scale. Um, what I like about this ADC is, you know, it's, it's straightforward. It's got a single channel differential. It's got that 18 bit. It uses I squared C, so it's very easy to interface. Um, it's got a couple settings, so you can change um, 12, 14, 16 bit um, resolution, which also will change the data rate because it uses a sigma delta um, analog input. Um, it's got a built in voltage reference, so uh, you don't have to have like an external, you know, uh, a ref generator, um, you know, add to your bill of materials and size. It's all built in. Um, it's got a, a built in oscillator. It's got built in gain, so up to eight times gain. Um, and it's like really simple to use. It's just like a SOT 236. So let's take a look at it. Um, so you see at the bottom left, um, this this chip, um, by the way, you know, it's I squared C and it has a fixed address. You can see there's no address pin, um, but there's variants that come, you know, different variant ordering codes that come with different addresses. And I think I have a diagram later of that. Um, differential input, uh, powered from uh, 2.7 to 5.5 volts. The internal reference is 2.048 volts. So your signal has to be within that range and it's differential, but as long as like both the positive and negative are between ground and two volts, um, you'll be able to read the differential signal in. So it's a signed data. And then just I squared C for um, configuring and reading back. Um, just uses Delta Sigma. So, you know, one of the things about Delta Sigma is, um, you can basically add as many states stages as you want. So, you know, you can do eight bit, which is fairly fast. Then, you know, every bit you add doubles the amount of time it takes because you have another stage. Um, so the trade-off with having uh, Delta Sigma is it, it's not very fast. This, I think when you go to 18 bits, it's like three, four, maybe five s samples per second. So this isn't when you're wanting to like measure uh, you know, potentiometer or an analog like audio signal. This is good for sensors like pressure sensors, um, uh, strain gauges, thermocouples, anything that needs high precision, but you don't need um, very fast reading. Um, okay, so here you go. So the at 18 bits, you're going to get, you know, 16 microvolts per LSB. Uh, but then on top of that, you can have a gain inside. There's a programmable gain of up to uh, eight. Um, but still, you know, even when you multiply by eight, remember it has to be less than 2.48 volts. Um, and the output, uh, which it gives you, will be um, between negative, you know, whatever number of bits divided by two to positive. So um, you, know, you can connect the negative pin to ground if you want, if you have a single ended output. But, it, you know, again, it's designed for stuff like uh, uh, thermocouples and uh, Wheatstone bridges where you want a differential input. Um, and here's an example of um, some wiring. So Wheatstone bridges are used, you know, again, pressure sensors, uh, strain gauges, um, you know, other, I mean, there's a couple of uh, GSRs, I think, also use um, Wheatstone bridges, wherever you have to measure a small, small change in resistance. Um, this is kind of what it's set up to do. And, you know, uh, if you need... Um, I think for some strain gauges, you know, if the if the change is very, very small, you might want to add a op amp at the bottom. You can see there the MCP uh, 6V01. I think it's an auto zeroing uh, precision op amp. So that will be good if you have um, a measurement that's, you know, you're going to go below that 16 microvolts per LSB uh, measurement limit. Um, so the demo that I've got is, you know, because I looked at the issue, it's like, you know, you can just hook up a thermocouple directly. You don't need anything else. They they show an MCP98 
100, but that's just because you want to get the ambient temperature to do, you know, compare against. So you, because the thermocouple um, has the change in temperature um, from ambient. So you use the ambient to then calculate what the uh, absolute temperature is. Um, if you go to the overhead, I'll do the demo now. So I've got, so this is the, okay, so this is the uh, breakout board here that I designed. Um, so you can see the chip over here and I just have it connected up to, you know, I've got like some capacitors, um, pull up resistors, a little ferrite bead. And then this is the differential input. And then I've wired the differential input here to a K-type thermocouple. And then you can see this is the ADC reading. I'm just picking this up. And then when I breathe on it, it um, gets warmer. And you can see the ADC um, picks it up even only a couple degrees. Um, the the micro voltage can be uh, you know with um, eight times gain and 18-bit resolution. It's good enough. You can actually. Um, measure a thermocouple and get a couple degrees um, precision out of it um, directly, no pre-amplifier, no signal conditioning at all. So a very simple um, and easy to wire up analog digital converter. Okay, so let's go back. We were just showing off the thermocouple. Uh, can you go back? Is it the yeah. other? Yeah, okay. So then, uh, yeah, we're going to go to the next one. Sorry. So this is the PCB design. So this is just a, an image. Um, again, the bill of materials is small. Um, you know, I just have a bulk capacitor, 0.1 microfarad capacitor, um, a, uh, a ferrite, um, and then a couple of uh, 10K pull-ups. But honestly, probably most of these items you're already going to have on your board. So really, you know, all you end up needing is just that SOT 236. Because uh, again, it can run from 2.7 to 5 volts. You don't even need a regulator for it. Um, and then uh, to write a library, you know, um, I just wanted to write one very quickly. I just loaded up the data sheet into chat GPT-4 and um, microchip data sheets are so good that it was like, yeah, no problem. Um, here's the library. And as always, we... The link is into the chat. We, the when we chat. use these tools, we link, disclose, we put it in any code. We link to the actual chat that you can see where Lady Ada typed and stuff. And a lot of the code is trained on Lady Ada stuff on all of it for things like this. So I think um, we're encouraging others to do that. And I want to just mention we can you do that. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, the what I like about microchip is the data sheets are so good that um, they're very easy to parse by uh, a chat bot. And it was able to kind of pipe out the library. And then, um, you know, there's a couple typos. And so, but I fixed it up and published it on GitHub. So if you want to get started with this chip really quickly, I have a full Arduino library. Um, that uh that sets the gain and the resolution and uh, displays it on this tft or displays it in the serial port um, it also calculates your samples per second and um and then yes if you want to the default i squared c address is ox68 but if you want um there are a couple different variants and digikey does stock them so if you want multiple ones on one i squared c port or you know use of an address conflict um check the ordering code because you know they're not going to be compatible. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to make sure that your system doesn't, uh, your, your design doesn't get affected by part shortages, just make sure that um, your code is looking for any of the eight addresses that you could get, depending on which version um, you place on your PCB. And um, kind of interesting, Dark mode. not only is it in stock, but DigiKey looks like they rolled out dark mode. Dark mode. Maybe they just did it for you, but everyone should check and see. Love it. Um, I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. So in dark mode, um, in stock, all the options are available. This chip is about two bucks. Um, I found it very easy to get started with. Um, order it and you can have it in your hand by tomorrow. All right. And then there's a short video um, that Microchip has. We're going to just play a little snippet from it. Um, and then yeah. we'll see you on the other side. Chip's MCP3421 weight scale demo board was designed to demonstrate the MCP3421 ADC's performance in such an application. It uses the PIC 18F4550 microcontroller for data processing and USB communication with a PC. This board also demonstrates the differences in system performance by adjusting the parameters of the sensor signal conditioning circuits by means of Microchip's MCP6V07 auto zeroed operational amplifier. The MCP3421 Delta Sigma ADC can detect an input signal level as low as 2 microvolts. When measuring such a low input signal level, a low noise operational amplifier is used. 
The MCP6V07 Auto Zero to Operational Amplifier has input offset voltage correction for very low offset and offset drift, which makes it ideal for boosting small signal levels. Various signal conditioning schemes can be tested, providing the user an idea of how best to achieve the design requirements. Additionally, you can connect your own load cell for evaluation. In LCD displays, the user selection option, ADC output code, and weight. Buttons beside the LCD allows user control. The S4 button is used for offset calibration, S3 adjusts the signal conditioning gain settings, S2 is used to change the information displayed on the LCD, and S5 resets the demo. A LabVIEW graphical user interface allows gain calibration, shows weight, standard deviation, ADC code, and other data to allow system. Hi, on MPI.